originally, like I said, I'm from West Palm. I hopped around from three schools. I went from three high schools, actually four schools, three high schools to an adult education school, and then I was shipped out of Florida and had to move to Kentucky to go to a job court, job court, because I was acting up. I was wild. So it was kind of like living in two worlds. It was kind of like living, living in the church world, then I had my block life. Well, I was hanging with the Mexicans, I was hanging with the Jamaicans, I was hanging with the Haitians. He did that. So I was really, <clears throat> I was really like, I was wild. God always had his hand in my life. I just didn't want to listen. I ignored it. I was like, yo, this is my life. And you ain't going to tell me what I'm going to do because I don't know where you at and I don't see you. So if I don't see you, then it's my world. So I ended up moving to Austin, Texas. And Austin, Texas, they heard my music. So I ended up getting signed to a label. So I had the contract signed. It was a whole nine. So from that point, there was a tour lined up. There was videos being shot. I was making noise in underground music in Austin, Texas. All of a sudden, God started pulling everything from under me, from a good job to a tour, even my relationship that I had at the time, and he was really trying to get my attention. Like, look, you've been doing this for so long for them, now I want you to do it for me. So, basically, I didn't realize he was remaking everything that I had built up, my empire. And he was breaking it down to the point where it was becoming remade in something better, which leads me here today. Amen. So, <clears throat> that miracle baby. Amen. Amen. The devil tried to kill me multiple times, three times to be exact. One, when I was born, I was a preemie, I was underneath the pound. Mm. Doctor said I wasn't gonna make it. My dad pulled me out of the incubator. He said I'm taking him home. He prayed for me, and then I just grew and developed from there. Amen. John twelve forty six. I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in the darkness. Hallelujah. I know most of y'all, y'all probably got people that go to church and they drag you to church. Sometimes you don't want to go to church. It's Sunday, man. I'm supposed to get my sleep in. You know I got school in the morning. You know I got a test to get ready for. But it clearly see, it says right here. I have come into the world as a light. No one who believes in me should stay in the darkness. They take you to this place for a reason. That reason is to introduce you to this light. Make it lit. To get you cleaned up to where you fell in love so with this mess. And I know y'all heard this before. But take it from Bishop. Take it from these leaders. Take it from me. We done been in some deep, dark situations. And I know a lot of y'all have been in some deep, dark situations. And I promise you, it was difficult coming out of them situations. Am I not right? Yeah, man. Oh, y'all didn't go through nothing? Y'all haven't went through anything? Oh, it's just us, huh? It's just us. Y'all too quiet for me. He took it when he died on that cross. Yes. And I know y'all ain't trying to be on this. Whatever. That's cool. That's cool. But I promise you this, my God always wins. Yes, sir. So I want, you to talk, I want you to think about it, I want you to focus in, I want you to hone in on that mess, that situation that continues, continues to just haunt you and continues to just leech on you and don't let you go. And I want you to take that mess, I want you to take that situation and I want you to lay it down before him. I know it's tough, I know it's hard, believe you and me, but I promise you, I promise you, he's that one that's going to make sure it's not going to happen. He's that one that if it does come around you, it's not going to hurt you. He said, I would never leave nor forsake you. He would never leave nor forsake you. He always with you. Even when it don't look like that he is. So I want everybody to bow their heads. I'm going to pray. I don't want you looking around. Don't look to your left. Don't look to your right. But if you for real, if you want to start that process, just do me a favor. Do me, don't do me a favor. Do him a favor. Because he's going to begin the process. He's going to start working on you. He's going to start making sure that he's breaking these barriers. He's going to start showing and letting you feel that love that he has for you. If you want that, Please, please, without anybody looking around, not caring what's going around, not caring who's going to see you, just put your hands up.
Thank you. Thank you. Don't be shy. Raise it up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So many hands. So many hands. Thank you. Now what I want you to do, I want you to put that hand and put it on your heart. And I'm going to say a prayer and I want you guys to repeat that prayer for me. And I want everybody that's around, I want you to say the prayer with me as well. Say, Father God, I believe in you. I believe that you came. I believe that you died on the cross for me. Father God, I want you to come to my heart. I want to make a decision. I'm taking that first step. So from this day forward, I want to walk with you. I want you to lead my path. And I will serve and lift you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap it up for yourself.